name is Kato Change, spelled Change. In fact, many people call me Change, but it's Change. Um, I'm 23 years old, 24 this year. Uh, I'm a guitarist, uh, playing a couple of bands, um, Aaron and Boy's band, a tennis band, uh, a band called Ma3, my own group called The Change Experience. It is, it is, um, I've played music, at least guitar, for, for like 10 years. Um, I started off playing the violin in my school orchestra, this is Mary's school orchestra, um, but I didn't get very good at it, exactly, I was just bad. Um, but I found a guitar that my dad had had handmade um, just before I was born. Um, so, so I picked it up, got it fixed up by a guy called Ken Lamba, actually the guy that made the guitar. And I've been playing ever since for like 15 years. Ah, not 15, let me say 10, 10 years. Uh, I would say it took me maybe like two years. Um, to get the hang of the guitar and actually playing songs that mean something. Um, the first year I was doodling and not doodling, can I use the word doodling? Let me just use that for now. Uh, fiddling about with the, with the guitar. I was playing, I played like two songs. I learned two songs perfectly a Bob Marley song, uh, No Woman No Cry, and, and a rock song, uh, and a classical song actually. So I knew only those three songs perfectly. Uh, but if you asked me to play anything else, I couldn't. So yeah, after after a year or two, I started uh, learning online uh, on YouTube, and yeah, that's when I started feeling growth. It's crazy because my selection of music is very diverse. Um, if you go through my iTunes, I have house, I have rock, I have uh, underground hip hop, I have a lot of jazz. So so I think I play with my mood. Uh, I write songs with my mood, uh, but if I was if I was told I can only play one genre for the rest of my life, I think I'd move towards jazz and African jazz, yeah. with a touch of Afro house. Actually, no, I can't say I can't. There's too many genres. Yeah. Um, the show I think I enjoyed the most was Coke Studio um, because I got to meet. Huge acts, acts I didn't think I would ever be playing with, like Salif Keita um, or King Sunny Ade. They're very big African acts and they're legends, like Grammy nominated, Gram Grammy winning. Uh, it was challenging because they expect the songs to be played exactly as they are on the record. And some of those songs are not easy, but, but it was a growing experience. Carlos Santana. If Hendrix was still alive, that, that would be the ideal guy to play with, just to do a collab, collab with. New Soul, I would like to play with uh, like Jill Scott, uh, with Rafael Zadik, uh, with Common, uh, Hip Hop, with Jay Z, with, with a guy called KRS One, Underground, um, the Jazz World with Herbie Hancock, um, in the House World, uh, Dead Mouse and Skrillex. I like to do a show with them, just like they have their DJ booth, they have my guitar going. I think government is trying, slightly, uh, like they're, they're building whatever it is, um, performance spaces. But the major thing I think they need to do is bring music back into the syllabus, um, because it was cut from schools uh, like five, six years ago, and that I think is nonsense, um, because there's very many children with potential. Uh, and that would be great musicians, but they just don't have the opportunity. Um, so yeah, I've started a foundation that does that, but we need help from the government. They need to bring it back into schools. The weirdest thing of fun, but I found it actually wasn't a fan, it was a friend of mine. Um, but I was performing and a bra was thrown on stage. So like, yo, okay, this is a full rock and roll lifestyle, but uh, it ended up being one of my friends that was dead. That kid carried an extra bra mm -hmm. just for that.
it is part of uh, my identity, it's my trademark. I have, I collect hats, I love hats. Uh, uh, I found a picture the other day of me, three years old, and I had a fedora, and I was like, ah, so this is where it started. My folks just inceptioned me into wearing hats somehow. But yeah, I've always loved hats. Um, I think I always will. In the near future, um, expect an album. We're going to need now, hopefully by March, mid-March, I'll be done with an album featuring many um, Kenyan musicians. Um, lot of gigs. Um, the change experience growing bigger. Experience the change. <laughs> The first time I've been here, brilliant. I love the people, nice, nice people. people. I think I'll start working here. I just love this place for people. So, yeah, make sure you stay tuned. Keep watching it.